Now in this island of Atlantis, there existed a confederation of kings of great and marvelous power, which held sway over all the island. The surrounding mountains were celebrated for their number and size and beauty far beyond any which still exist, having every variety of sight and of climate and supplying all the necessaries of life for every animal, wild or tame. Hello, lustrous luminaries, and welcome to another adventure through the shiny past with the Silver Chronicles. Today, we're setting our sights on the lost city of Atlantis. In Plato's original account of Atlantis, he mentions that the city was built on a plain that was surrounded by mountains. These mountains were said to be rich in silver, and the city itself was said to be adorned with silver. Known for its mythical charm and enchanting mysteries, Atlantis is often considered a paragon of advanced ancient civilization. Amidst the legends, the Atlanteans' relationship with silver is a tale filled with awe and fascination. It's not merely a medal, it's a testament to their technological prowess, spiritual beliefs, and vast wealth. Charles Hapgood, a respected historian, situated Atlantis in the Azores, a region teeming with silver. He suggested the Atlanteans harness the sun's energy using silver, creating an Atlantean sun engine. This wasn't a whimsical construct, but a representation of Atlantean ingenuity, a symbol of their profound understanding of the world, a marvel indeed. Silver, with its extraordinary conductivity, lends credibility to Hapgood's theory. It has the highest electrical and thermal conductivity of all elements, making it an ideal material for such a device. Its enduring luster reflects light efficiently, another characteristic that might have been utilized in this mythical sun engine. As we navigate further into Atlantis's mythical landscape, we encounter 19th century occultist Helena Blavatsky's interpretations. She believed Atlantis was the ancestral home of Hyperborea, a civilization epitomized by its prosperity, beauty, and silver abundance. She painted a picture of Atlanteans utilizing silver in everyday life, crafting intricate jewelry, minting currency, and creating ornamental objects, underscoring their sophisticated craftsmanship. The story of silver doesn't end here. William Scott Elliot, a noted theosophist, introduced a more spiritual aspect, he suggested Atlanteans attributed magical properties to silver, viewing it as a conduit to the divine. His accounts even reference an Atlantean fire ring, a weapon of destruction forged from silver. This weapon was supposedly used in a cataclysmic war, resulting in Atlantis's downfall. Here we observe another facet of silver, its malleability and ductility. It can be shaped into any form without breaking, making it plausible for crafting weapons. Whether these narratives hold any truth or our products of speculation, one thing remains evident. The allure of silver and Atlantis are inextricably intertwined, enthralling us with their rich, layered histories. As we journey back from Atlantis, the legacy of silver expands in our understanding. It isn't merely its physical attributes that mesmerize us, but also the lore, culture, and technology it symbolizes across ages. Until our next radiant journey, remember lustrous luminaries, let the shimmering light of knowledge guide your curiosity and Stay silver.